Hello, welcome to the Monday, December 4th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Every so often the bad guys just get lucky because we stop looking for some of these old attacks. Renato has a recent example where Malware actually used the good old bat file in order to launch a script on Windows and then install banking Malware. This particular bat file has a virus total rating of 0 out of 58 and well it does install banking malware on the user's system. Renato did observe this particular piece of malware intercepting traffic to a number of different Brazilian banks. Now they do play another trick that may contribute to the low recognition and that's that they actually claim that the file is UTF-16 encoded with that if you look at the file using a standard editor all you see is what looks sort of like Chinese characters. I don't know if this fools any of the antivirus tools, but it potentially did contribute to the low virus total score. And then we got a second interesting diary, this one by Xavier. He wrote about how JotForm is being abused by phishing kits. JotForms is a cloud service that allows you to set up simple forms and collect data your users Enter. Well, in this case, the data is provided by a phishing site. Tricks like this make it quite difficult to spot these phishing attacks. One of my tricks to look for malicious activity is always to look for odd domain name lookups and I always recommend looking for that, certainly quite valuable, but in this particular case all you would have seen is a DNS lookup for JotForm, which is a legitimate and somewhat popular site, so it's probably something that you may even whitelist. And of all days on Saturday, Apple released a somewhat rushed update for iOS. This is iOS 11.2. It's a feature release of iOS. Now, the main reason this was released on Saturday was that it also addresses a bug in iOS that became evident on December 2nd. Apparently on December 2nd on some iOS devices, it will shut down if you receive a notification. I haven't experienced this myself on my iOS devices, but apparently the bug was widespread spread enough where Apple found it necessary to release this major update. This update is also expected to contain a number of security fixes. However, so far Apple has not released any details on its security update page. It just notes that details will be available soon. What Apple typically does is that it releases updates for multiple operating systems at the same time because they do share quite a bit of code. So if they fix, for example, a WebKit vulnerability in iOS, iOS, they also have to fix the same vulnerability in watchOS, in tvOS, in OS 10 or Mac OS in order to not expose those systems. So this is probably while they're holding back a little bit on the details as far as security updates are concerned. I would recommend you update even if you're not affected by this December 2nd bug because yes, likely there will be some significant security fixes in addition to the new features that iOS 11.2 provides. Now, due to the rushed rollout, it appears that actually some of the new features aren't really available yet because they rely on backend infrastructure on Apple's side that apparently hasn't been moved live yet. In particular, the pay cash feature that should allow you to send money to friends. And if you're using the RSA authentication agent for web to authenticate users to your Apache web server, it's time to upgrade. RSA fixed a critical vulnerability that allows users to bypass authentication in this scenario. And over the last few years, I think uh, we have seen over and over where 
exposed S3 buckets are being leaked. Well, there's now a new tool to protect yourself. Uh, what you can do is you can monitor search stream. Search stream is a certificate transparency log. So any new certificates being issued for your domain name will show up in search stream. And then this new tool slurp will check if any of the host names exposed in the certificate are pointing to S3 three buckets that are exposed. Pretty neat idea and certainly something that you probably do want to look at. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.